Greetings one and all and welcome back to Minecraft Sublime. This is episode 015 and it is a beautiful sunny morning here with birds flying in the sky and yeah, <laughs> these are really cute, you know. Look at that, he trusts me. He's from Project Zulu and I haven't even, you know, I haven't had the heart to kill them yet because because they're too cute, <laughs> so I don't know what they drop, if anything. But I'm sure it's nothing I need. So anyway, yes, guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm still right here where we, where we left off in the previous episode. Because, yeah, just because I, I went to bed, I went to work, and I'm back now. There's actually one little thing that I did before I hit the record button, which you will find out in a second, because that's what we're going to be talking about right now. These two signs, which I sort of alluded to in the end of the previous episode. This, as I said, is where we're going to be putting Lycanite's totem. Lycanite, the creator of the Lycanite mobs mod, asked me for a very, put it this way, challenging, challenging uh, totem, which is going to require me to go to the nether, because he wants netherrack, and then a lapis block and green wool, and, wait, it was nether bricks, sorry, at the bottom, then the lapis and the green wool, then the nether rack, and on top he wants hellfire, which is a, a creation of his. It's a green sort of fire, much more dangerous than normal fire. I'm actually afraid that it's gonna gonna leap over to this. Hmm. I might not actually be able to do that for you, uh, uh, like a knight. We'll have to see. If not, then you can tell me what you would like as a, as a substitute. But yes, anyway, I have to go to the nether because the only way I can get Hellfire, and netherrack for that matter, is there. And the Hellfire is dropped by behemoths, which are really scary creatures that, are, that only spawn in the nether. So yes, uh, that is going to be challenging and I'm going to need to do some preparation before we go. Which I've got, I've got an idea for that. But before we get to that, I want to tell you guys about it this sign. Did anybody guess what this might be? Let me grab this, get it away, and I will reveal now what it is. Take a look in my backpack. Ta -da! <laughs> These are the Anger Blocks from the Anger Mod. This is a mod that was created just for fun by a friend of mine. You guys might know him um, if you've watched any of my other series, actually, besides the Dinosaur series. We've played together a few times in the jars and in uh, the works. And, uh, yeah, that's it, the ones that I have on my channel. And yes, he's Anger Puppet 42. The 42, uh, high five to those of you who know why I put 42 on the sign. <laughs> and he created this mod, which basically creates your face on a block, on a shiny block. It shines like glowstone, but it's got your texture, your face as a texture. So I thought that was very cool, and then I thought of an idea for you guys, a, a sort of competition, it's something fun that can help out my, my friend, and then you guys will also benefit, because if you get the competition, then you will get your face on a block placed right here instead of the glowstone your shiny face will be down here instead <laughs> so what do you think so the thing is the um wait wait what was yes the competition of course what you need to do to earn yourself your face block is you must go to my friend's channel i will put a link in the description and you must go and watch his videos because we're going to be thinking of five questions they're not going to be too difficult, don't worry, you're not going to spend hours and hours looking for, for the answers. But we're going to think of five questions to do with his, you know, things to do with his videos. And anybody who, who answers the five questions correctly will then get their block. They will get their, their face put on their block and I will put it next to your totem. So that's it guys, those of you who haven't submitted totems yet, do so, and then, yes, and then I will tell you what the questions are once we've figured that part out. But it's just something cool to look forward to. Alright, so that's that part taken care of. I'm just trying to think of if I've forgotten something. Hmm. 
No, no. Okay. So, the next step is preparation for the nether. We have to get to the nether and I'm just wondering exactly what to do. I've got two options. I could enchant my armor with with the uh, ex little bit of experience that I've got right now, which is not much. You saw there, I stored it away in the in the glass tank from open box, and I think I've got about 15, 15 XP right now, which I can extract, and then I can use that for fire resistant stuff. Hmm. But you know, there's something else that I installed a while ago. Thanks to M11, thank you M11 for this very cool suggestion. I haven't looked into it though, let me see. It's a mod called the Rings of Power and they seemed pretty cool. Uh, let me check in any eye over here. Power, power, power. Aha, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, just the rings. There's a common ring, the teleport ring, the fire ring, the ice ring, the harvest ring, and the flying ring. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. Common ring, I guess, is what we need. Because what's the bet these need? Yeah, these need a common ring to make. So we need to make one of these, which means we'll need a lava bucket. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Instead of enchanting, I'm going to make me a ring. But now the question is, which one? I know that the fire ring gives fire resistance, which would be very cool. Very, very cool in the nether. But I mean the teleport ring, wait, let's see here. Oh, but I don't have four ender pearls, and they're going to take long to get. No, okay, so let me see, fire ring. Ah, yeah, that's better, just flint and steel. The ice ring? No, I don't think... I wonder if the ice ring would even work in the nether. Harvest ring, that's not what I want at all. And the flying ring. Ooh, feathers. Do I have feathers? Do I have feathers? Yes, I have exactly four feathers. Hmm. So it's a toss up between the fire ring and the flying ring. I wonder. Oh, but you know, look at that. Four diamonds. How many? I have eight diamonds. And I want to start making solar panels, which require diamonds. Uh, mm, the dilemma. No, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm going to make myself a fire resistance ring. Because I think the flying ring might be a bit overpowered. That's another question. How... I mean, does it last forever? No, no, no. There was something. I remember watching a review. There was something that, that happens. Okay, guys, just give me a second. I, I'm going to find out. Because the rings definitely don't last forever, so they cost something to use, and I've got no idea what. But just a second. Alright guys, so yes indeed I was right. Obviously it's not for free. Apparently, if you want to use the rings of power, you have to have coal in your inventory. Which means, ooh, which means I wonder, do I have more coal? Because the thing is, as you're using the ring, whether it be flying around or if you're using it for fire resistance in lava, um, as you're using it, you will slowly start to lose coal. Which means I think I'm going to keep a stack of coal here so I can see when it's going down. Yeah. So that's cool. It's not only coal though. You can use glowstone dust, glowstone dust or glowstone, or redstone dust or redstone blocks. Oh, and apparently you get coal blocks as well, which I didn't know about. Don't know where I've been, but it's a, it's a vanilla thing. And look, you can make coal blocks for better storage. Okay, now I think I remember now. I think I remember that when this came out. It's just that I've never used it. Okay, so let me sleep. The next thing we need to do is find some lava. And I think that there is some lava northeast from here. I mean, sorry, northwest from here. Where the lucky block was all those episodes ago. So I'm going to head over there, but first, time to sleep. Time to sleep. Beautiful good night sleep. Ah, yes. Stretch. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. And we're ready to go out and search for lava. But now, uh, there's something else I wanted to say. Do I have a bucket? There we go. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. 
<laughs> no hole in this bucket, I hope. The old lava. So yes, um, I was going to say something. Uh, something that I really, really wanted to say. Uh, oh yes, uh, we might not be going to the nether in this episode, but there is something that I think we could do, and that is go to the four points of the of the glowstone paths, so that we can have a vote again. Because the previous vote, the first one, was not very decisive. I think people favoured north, but yeah, we, we'll we'll go and have a look at it at the end of each path, and you guys can all help me decide again which way we're going to expand to. Because I would like to do that soon. We have over 1,100 subscribers now, so we've got quite a few more glowstone blocks to place. Do, 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 do. Let's see, do I still have a boat on this side? I think I left a boat here once. Do, 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 do. Yes, there it is. Very nice. Okay, so off we go. The one thing I really should be careful of is uh, if, you know, wherever there's lava, a lava spawn, a lava monster can spawn. A lobber is what Lycanite has called them. Oh, hello there. Look at you, chicken. I thought you were, like, decorated <laughs> with the flowers. Um, so where was that lava? Gotta be careful. I hear it. Hmm. Hmm. Aha, here we go. Any lava monsters? Nope. Okay, quickly grab and run. Those things can spawn at any time. And I would not fare well against one right now. Yeah. Okay, so let's head back. Hello, chicken. Um, oh, look! <laughs> Bob. Hello, Bob. Still hanging around here. Oh, and there's a maca in the distance. I really should get more into Lycanite's like mob. Lycanite's like mobs. You know? Oh, which reminds me, he's got the 1.7.2 update now. Hey, uh, Lycanite, if you're watching this, tell me, are you are you making ports for, for all the updates? You know, back ports to 1.6.4? I really hope so, because, you know, this is all 1.6.4 here, and I've got hundreds of, mod, hundreds of mods, and I don't, you know, I wouldn't be able to use the cool updates if you don't back port. So yeah, consider this an official request, if you're not already doing that. Uh, right, so let's get back up. We're going to make ourselves a ring of power. Going to be very cool. <laughs> if any of you watch uh, Elemental, Ele what's it, Element Animations, then uh, you would know about the the resource pack that they made a while ago. I think it was for it. For the uh, for April Fool's Day, where if you walk on grass in the, the village, the villagers, you know, the villagers that talk like this, grass, 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 <laughs> grass, 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 glass, 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 grass, 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 wood, 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 wood. <laughs> oh man! And I made the mistake of installing that that resource pack just to test it out. And oh my gosh, it is the most annoying thing in the world. You just don't do it. Don't do it. Never do that. They they even made a sort of apology video, <laughs> which was very funny. Go to Element Animation. It's that's what their YouTube name is, and check them out. It's very very funny. But okay, let's get to this Ring of Power. So, what it was? It just a bucket in the middle with iron all around. There we go, the ring of power. Now, oh, I kind of kind of hate to do this. Four diamonds, but I think it's worth it. Um, what else do I need? Flint and steel. Oh yeah, that means more iron. Should still have some more in here. I really do need to make a quarry as soon as possible. So, uh oh, do I have flint? Oh, please tell me I got flint. I got three flint and some gravel. So let's place this gravel. Uh, let's place it down here. 
Give me flint. There we go. Wonderful. Probably get another one. Nope. Okay. Well, I only need one more. Very nice. Very nice. Put that away. And we got our flint. Let me just cook this up. Where's the other one? And then this in the corners. The diamonds on the sides. Ooh, it's exciting. Making ourselves a ring of power. Oh, very nice. The fire ring. Ha! Very nice. I want to test this out. Ooh, I need to eat. So where can I test this out, I wonder? Do I have a flint and steel somewhere? I can just set something on fire. Um, um, I feel like I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Not in here. Let's go to somewhere that's not going to cause a huge fire. Don't want to burn my crops down. But right here. Yeah, here on the grass. So, fire everywhere. And... Ha! Ah, very nice. I'm not burning to death. Now let's check the the coal. That hardly did anything. I mean, I didn't lose any coal. Mm, okay, this might be a bit overpowered. <coughs> Excuse my voice. Wow. Okay. Sorry for the cut. I just had to drink some water because my voice... <coughs> I'm losing my voice, it seems. Because I... I teach all day. So I'm talking all day and then I still have to come and do this. So yeah, <laughs> my voice is kind of getting scratchy. <coughs> anyway. So, okay, the fire ring works. That's all that matters. So that is wonderful. Now to end this episode... We're going to go to the four corners, at least the four ends, the north, south, east and west end of our world here, because we are not allowed to explore further than 300 blocks away from the last glowstone, and we really, I mean, we haven't explored much, so it's time to check it out, and you guys are going to vote on which direction we're going to, we're going to expand upon. Okay, it is turning night, so I think we do one very quickly. You know what I'll do? I'm just going to run to the four points and uh, yeah, just cut out the, the in-between bits. So here we go, here's this one at least, the west end, which I do believe was this sort of nice, very nice looking ocean area. Now if I take the map down a bit, let's see, there we go, you can see on the map there, there's a lot of land on the left. There's that tree. Hmm. But it looks like further west there is just water. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head home, sleep, and then I'll go east, the opposite direction from here. Alright guys, so here I am at the east end of, the, of our fractal. And it looks very, very nice. I really like this, this end actually. I'm thinking of making it a toss-up, the vote. I'm thinking of making it a toss-up between east and north because south and west are just water and water and more water but yes, yes, that's a good idea choose everybody between east and north this is east what we have here I mean, I am allowed to go 300 blocks away from this last glowstone so we can check out a little bit further here and uh, so yeah, here is the Lion King mod portal. Very nice. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. Oh look, there's a pelican. <laughs> Hello, sir pelican. Very nice, very, very nice indeed. Project Zoo. The coolest, the coolest mobs, I tell you. But uh, yeah, so that's the Lion King, and I haven't forgotten about it. We'll be going there. But uh, you know, like I said in the previous episode, we've been hopping around a lot. What are these? Hello. 
Um, I'm kind of afraid. Yeah, th this direction definitely looks very pretty. Very promising. Interesting sort of trees on that side. I think it might be a magical forest. So yeah, but what are these? Obelisk from Natura. Oh yeah, I know about these. Okay, you can take them. You can take them and, and they, they are used for something. You see here. Um, okay, you can cook with them? No, there's got to be something else. Hmm. I remember there was something you could do with them, but I don't know why any eye is not make an obelisk from, from ghostwood apparently and then what are they used for? absolutely nothing very strange okay okay well that's alright so yes this does look a, a very very nice direction and I really I think I don't mind whether we go east or north I'll show you guys north in a second yeah, that's a that's a magical forest right there. Oh, now now I don't even want to give you guys the boat. <laughs> vote east, vote east, guys. Okay, so yeah, let me get to the north, and then you guys can decide. Glowstone, 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 glowstone. Grass, 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 grass. Glowstone, 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 glowstone. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've arrived, and yes indeed, I remember this is the north, the wintry north. Winter is coming. Yes indeed, this is, this is it's the, the land of the markers, and uh, it also looks very nice. I mean, 300 blocks away from there is a very far way. And we got markers, and I, I think we can probably find some of the... Let me see here. Hello you. Yeah, I'm looking for Ventoraptors or some of those ice creatures from from Lycanite's mobs. But I don't see any. But that's alright, so yeah, this is also a very awesome place. I should come and explore here one episode just for fun because I, it is within my reach, the 300 block reach. But yes, do we go further this way as well? Hmm, it really is a toss-up. It looks amazing as well, west. I mean, not west, north. Hmm, so that's it. You guys decide. North or east. I, I really actually do not mind either way. The one is the magical forest, as you saw there, and the other is through these awesome looking trees. The Japanese, uh, not not Japanese. What, what are they? Oh, again, I can't believe I forgot their name again. My favorite tree. Something very simple. So okay, guys, I'm gonna say goodbye right here with my mucker friend here. Hey, well he was my friend. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> he actually came running over here now. Sorry about the break, by the way. My my game crashed, and I, I had no idea why. But yes, it's time to end the video. Thank you for watching, as I said, and you can look forward to our next episode where I'll be going to the nether now that I have this awesome fire ring where I will be resistant to all the forms of terrible burning in the nether. I know probably some of you wanted me to, to make the, uh, the flying ring, but I thought that would be just a little bit too overpowered, you know? I don't even want to really use this fire ring much, but just in this case where I haven't really got any other defenses yet, I decided that it would be a good idea to use it. And it did cost me four diamonds. So yeah. Again, thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video because it helps my channel grow. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Yeah, you. He also says bye. <laughs> look at that cute face. Just look at it. <laughs> bye guys. Thank you.